slip is happening with my backdrop. Uno momento. This is a high value production, people. Okay? Did I fix it? What is going on with my hair right now? There's no hope here. What is going on? Why do I look like a conehead on half of my hair? And then the other side, I look semi-normal. Okay, I don't care. All right, today I look like a 12 year old on Christmas morning. Uh, yeah, these are pajamas that I got myself for Christmas and it's what I put on today and I have unicorn slippers on. Today, um, so on Twitter, I asked you guys if you were over, I called it something totally different. I was like Crayola box of whatever the frick palette. I said, do, are you guys over this? Do you wanna see it still? Do you care? Or, you know, where are we at here? Speak to me. So I would say 10% of you said you were over it and then the other 90% said that you wanted to see it. So if you're the awkward 10% that said, no, you didn't wanna see it and you're here right now, you're awesome. <laughs> you are here through thick and thin and that's what this is all about. I appreciate you. So today, uh, this is so giant. It's just, it's like a billboard. This is the box of crayons eyeshadow palette. Why is it spelled like that? Do you see this? I shadow, e shadow. E shadow. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. Am I like British all of a sudden? What the hell? I thought I would do a little look with this today for festival season. I realized that weekend one is over, but that doesn't mean that you still can't be a colorful, I was gonna say unicorn, but we all hate unicorns now. I get it, I got it. I won't do it again. Um, you could still, you know, be your colorful self. So this, this palette still applies no matter how you choose to use it, if it's good. We're gonna find out. The pan size on this, it smells like glue. The pan size on this is giant. You get lots of colors and some of the other colors, uh, you know, they look really pretty. They look really nice. We're gonna see these, these um, metallic ones look pretty crazy like on the finger. So if you wanna go full Tin Man, you are covered. Or 60s like Golden Goddess, done. You know, the pigment, the payoff looks really good on your finger. Now it doesn't, it's not always the case when you're putting it on. I am such a professional at YouTubing that I totally didn't look up the price of this palette. Oh, crazy. Okay, so this actually restocked uh, the day before this is going to go live right now. So on Sunday, April 15th, um, this is $30 for this palette. So you get this giant, super inconvenient palette for only $30. Um, I purchased this with my own money. You've got, you get a mirror on here too. It's obviously like a cheap mirror. <laughs> like it's gonna be like a fun house mirror. No, it's, it's, it's all right. It's not, it's not great, but it's there. Now I was, wanting to do a look that was inspired by this right here. So I kind of started playing with it on my hand. Oh, awkward, it already wiped off. And I thought this was gonna stain my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some concealer on the eyes and then just get started. I'm gonna do my base after because these look really pigmented and colorful and there's gonna be makeup all over the place and I hate being nervous about it falling on my foundation and my base. So I'm gonna go in with the Naked Skin uh, by Urban Decay. E concealer. It's gonna take some of my favorite Becca setting powder and put this right on top. It was like $10 worth of product. I just like blew off my desk. Great. So for this look, I'm gonna build from the outside moving inwards. So with that being said, let me just take a little look-see. Um, it looks like we're gonna be going in right here with violet. You know, it would have been cool if we could have like seen a different spin on the crown box. Like why do we have to go with red, yellow, black? Like why not something fun? It could have been like, like a dirty, like whatever version of like a crown box. Like that would have been way more interesting to me. Just my two cents. Take it or leave it. I'm gonna take the Morphe uh, E22 brush right here and just take that violet and gonna start here and build it out. Let's see how this shiznit goes. Pigmentation looks pretty good so far. I'm not, you know, upset with it. I need to move this damn mirror closer to my face. I can't see nothing. 
I'm gonna take my Luxie 227 blending brush. It's got a little more of a flat shape to it just to build this out. One of the best parts about not having your foundation done when you do this too is that you can just take a makeup wipe and go whoop. I don't think I've ever started an eyeshadow look like this. Like <laughs> just on the outside edge. It's like so foreign to me. This may turn out like total steaming pile of poop. We'll find out. I'm happy with this pigment though. Like I, I would pick this palette up again based on just this one shade. Like I wouldn't be like, oh, that sucks. How do we feel about Kristen trying to upload videos every week? I'm working on it, you know? What I kind of did was like, I'm like, okay, so I will do Arctic Fox five days out of the week, but I'm keeping two right now for YouTube. Obviously this is just until I get those people in the positions, but yeah. So gonna reinforce the purple here and just kind of drag it outwards. This is an awesome brush. This is Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending. Look at that, it's gonna just work out so well. So going in with the violet, I'm now placing that on the inner corner here as we're gonna kind of do like, we're just gonna copy this on the inner corner. Next, I'm gonna be going in with blue. I feel like I don't even show you, it's like blue. It's like blue, it's just blue. This shade is really hard to do. So it's, it's so shades that are metallic are way less hard to do. They're way easier. That's a way better way of saying that. They're a lot easier than like just matte shades. So that's probably why they chose to do the two blues and the metallic, but I'm not mad about it, it's fine. But uh, I'm just going to place this right where our purple ends and kind of meet them up without diffusing it too much yet. It's on this side as well. Grabbing an even smaller brush, this is a Royal and Langnickel Smudger brush. We're gonna go in with this very creative shade named Baby Blue. And this is the last shade we're gonna do before our center shade. So I'm making sure to leave room for that center shade. Mate, neat. I'm gonna um, grab some more of the blue to kind of reinforce that. Now to create that shade in the center, I just, I really should have just thought about this, but I'm going back in with the baby blue. I should have just filled this in, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right in the center. Now I'm going in with yellow right here and I'm gonna just kind of powder that right over top, just in the center to give a green look. I feel like I really would have loved a lime green because clearly this was those crown packs that was like the extra big one that you paid like a dollar more for that I was never allowed to have because it cost too much. But it was that crown box that had like all the additional fun colors that all the like kids whose parents loved them had. I didn't have it. I didn't have it. So just carefully placing this right in the center. Very little fallout, really like pretty dang minimal for how much color I have on my eyes right now. I'm gonna go off camera, do my base and my brows and all of that good stuff so we can focus on the under eyes and go over conclusions. Now on the lower lash line, we're pretty much gonna be doing the same exact thing we did on the top. This is a tiny Luxie pencil brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of heavy metal um, glitter in distortion and just, it's got like a greenish kind of look to it. So I'm just gonna like put a little bit of this right in the center, just a tiny bit. See, that really picks up the green. I'm gonna take a little bit of um, dark blue eyeliner, always on gel liner in Bouncer by Smashbox, just to deepen this outer edge up right there. I'm gonna line my lips with NYX Cosmetics Vanilla Sky, and I mean overdraw my lips. 
course. This kid is literally trying to ruin my video right now. You know what's worse than this kid? There's actually a guy that lives near here that has this super annoying, loud muffler and it's gotta be on some like, like a prelude. And he's got this like muffler on there that sounds like total garbage. And he drives by like half a mile, like down, there's like this main street and then it, like a hill and then my house and then all the houses, track houses. And I can hear his car like at like 12, to two o'clock, like almost every single freaking night. And I want to strangle that guy. And I can hear him like when he's still like, when he's like a mile away still, I can still hear that shit. It actually like wakes me up at night. I like can't stand him. I want to strangle that guy. For our lips, I'm gonna go in with the brand new Too Faced Skinny Dippin' lipstick. This is from their It Just Comes Naturally collection. And I'm gonna go in with the Lorac Lip Gloss in Beach Babe. It's just to bring a little bit of pink back to the lips. Cause I feel like that shade is a little too orangey for this look. Then to go on top of that, cause I just wanna be extra today, <laughs> is I'm gonna be using the um, Chloe Morello and Pixie um, Lip Icing in Cake. It's just this like, it's like so pretty looking. I'm just gonna put this right on top. Ooh, it's so shimmery and pretty. For lashes, I'm gonna use Iris Beauty's lashes in Athena. These are 3D cruelty-free lashes. Never mind, they just completely fell apart when I went to take them out of there. Good quality. Let's try again. I'm gonna try another pair of Iris, what is it, Iris Beauty lashes in Empress. Putting eyelashes on is my least favorite part of makeup. And by least favorite, I mean, I actually kind of hate it. I wish I could just snap my fingers and the lashes would be on. Such a pain in the butt. Here is the final look using this giant palette. My final thoughts, I mean, Honestly, I need to try more of the matte shades, I would say, to give an honest, like, now that I've tried, I've tried like half the palette now, I kinda need to try the other half to see, but like, you just can't put that many colors in one look. Like, that would be a serious challenge to put every single one of these on your face somehow. Because they're all very bright, bold, and demand attention. But, um, the matte yellow that I did use on top of this, I was really surprised at the pigment on that because yellow usually doesn't have that crazy of a pigment. Like that one and sugar pill are like the only yellows that I've ever used that are like boom yellow. So I don't know what kind of illegal stuff is in that. I'm not suggesting that there is, but I don't know how you're allowed to get that much pigment that bright for an eyeshadow. So maybe that's why it has an I instead of an E by eyeshadow. So based on the shadows that I used in this palette, I actually really liked it. I thought it performed really well. There wasn't a whole lot of fallout. The pigment was really awesome. I will keep this up on my desk so that I can use the, more of the matte shades that are in here and kind of see how those blend out. Because with this look, we did some blending, but it was the metallic shades. And those blended out really seamlessly, super creamy. But I don't know if it'll be the same for the matte shades. So I will do some more looks with this and and update you guys then, but so far so good. Really liking this palette. So it gets, uh, it gets my stamp of approval. Thank you for watching guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye.